Hello everyone and welcome to another video in the SPSS 26 series. In this video we will create multiple regression and correlation using IBM SPSS 26. For this I've already created the data file that we'll be using which uh, contains several columns. We're going to test the multiple regression for the price based on several factors. So to do multiple regression, similar to simple regression, we're going to go to analyze, then regression, and of course we're doing linear multiple regression, so we're going to go to linear, and we'll get the linear regression menu. First we're going to select the dependent and independent variable. For this I want to see what affects the price and that would be the dependent variable. Then I'm going to add the age, number of bids and age bid to find as the independent variable. So first thing we're going to check is the method that we're going to use. We're going to do, do doing standard regression. So we're going to keep the option as enter. These are the other options. If you want to perform stepwise regression analysis, you choose stepwise and so on. So we're going to keep that at enter. And then I'm going to go over just a couple of things that you, might be of interest to you. Uh, if you want to add any things to your analysis for example if I want the confidence interval I can click on statistics and I can check whatever options I want the confidence interval for example and I want level 95 percent I can choose if I want the descriptive statistics if I want the R square change and I will just click continue and if you want to add for example uh, the predicting interval we can click on the save button and you can choose whether you want the predicting interval for the mean or for individual you can choose the predicted values if you want the standard error of the mean prediction if you want adjusted standardized if you want the residuals as well so depending on what you want to display you can choose any of these options once you're done you click continue if you want to do any plots then you're going to go to the plot value and here for example i want the residual for the price sorry for the and the price and what do you want for the residual do you want histogram do you want the normal probability plot you can choose as well click continue And once you're done choosing everything that you want, you can explore the options, the style. Once you're happy with what you want, you can simply click on OK. And the SPSS will produce all the results required including the values the regression equation the charts that we asked for the residual everything so let's look at what did we get here we're going to start with the descriptive statistics give us the mean for each of the variable that we selected with the standard deviation and the number of options it gives us the correlations between 
each variable and you can see that between the variable and itself it's going to be one and give us the for age for example and price it's 0.73 number of bits 0.395 age of bits is 0.858 and you can tell which one has higher correlation which one has lower correlation which one you can drop which one you can keep give us the model summary which is r give us r square for the overall model of course 0.977 very high correlation r squared 95 percent of variation in the dependent variable r determined explained by the independent variables of course we look at the adjusted r square which is similarly 94 or 95 percent uh, give us the hypothesis test for the overall model the f changed and the f significant give us the table for the regressions give us the coefficient which gives us the multiple regression equation give us the confidence interval for each variable it tells us that the dependent variable is the price and these are the coefficient for age num bits and age of bits this is the t test for each one of them if you want to test for the individual value it does give us also the residual statistics because we asked for that and it gives us the charts the histogram and the normal probable standardized residual and it gives us the scatter plot between the regression standardized predicted value and the residual so it depends on what you need you can check any or all of the things that i checked you can check more it depends on what the problem you're doing is asking for and which output they want you to produce thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel and look for other videos on spss and other statistical analysis using excel